Next two features are great if you want to show your client the effect that you've created in the software. You get several options how you can actually do that. You can either use the hardware buttons on the device or you can head into the web configuration. In the auto play section, in the web configuration tool, you can scroll through the effects using previous and next animation. This way you can check together what animation do you like. Once you've checked it, you can create a playlist. Here you can assign 16 different animations or effects, select whether they should repeat and how many times they should repeat, and once you will hit the end of the playlist, you can set that one animation will actually loop indefinitely. This way you can create a playlist. Another option is to go into the player, where you can see all the scenes that are stored on an SD card. In total, you get 255 effects that you can have on the card. And by simply clicking on the number of scene, you can also check what effect you are currently playing. Once you will hit off, the device will stop playing animations.